What is happening folks? Today we have a treat for you. This one is super, super 90s truck culture, very slick. Um, this is a 94 sport side, which is 6,900 miles. And again, I can't stress enough that 90s culture, you look at these big deep dish aluminum wheels, you'd, uh, you would have picked these out of a magazine back in the day. <sighs> you see this, uh, I don't, I don't even know technical term here. What do we call that? Uh, a sun visor, rooftop, chin splitter, something neat, something cool. Very 90s. You see we're sporting the, uh, the sport side body kit on this one. It is a step side truck, an extended cab. And again, how crazy is it? This thing only has 6,900 miles. All sorts of beautiful chrome, beautiful, beautiful set of uh, stainless uh, bed rails. You see, we got a, a nice piece of polished aluminum protecting the top of our tailgate here. And a very, very nice truck. We'll pop that open for you. You see just how clean it is. Look at these two, man. Scream in 94. The tail light covers, those look mean at night. And, uh, if you guys remember it, you know what I'm talking about. And those are very hot. Those were the business in the day. And they're still pretty damn cool too. Um, dual stainless tip exhaust coming out the back. Slick, slick, slick. You see we got some meat on the back of this truck. Those deep dishes are more than just for looks. They're to sport this tire. This thing has got the stance, got the looks. You pull this thing up to a show in, in 94, all it's missing is the uh, the air ride and the underglow. Actually, switches, man. You, you put this thing on, on hydraulics back in the day. Very cool. You can jump in your catalog, too, and get you a, a billet antenna with a, a bullet on the tip. That same catalog, that probably house this lovely uh, rock guard, bug guard. <laughs> Very cool. You could even go as far as, you know, uh, man, I, there's one of these kicking around. I think I've seen billet shifters, uh, billet like mirrors, billet covers for your whole dash, your whole dash pad. They're doing crazy stuff and uh, kind of pioneered the way a little bit into some of this truck scene we have today. Very, very cool. And again, an example with 6,900 miles. This is a, a like new truck. You are, uh, you're, you're getting a time capsule here. And you see this is the imperial upfit done to it and it looks lovely all this wood is killer um very sharp even even these these bucket seats those are uh very very much like a lazy boy most comfortable seats you ever get in a in a silverado very cool and again you see it the carpet the trim the steps the door cards everything everywhere this is very well cared for and very, very clean, low mile ride. Um, I'll fire this thing up real quick, click, uh, click through a couple of the lights, maybe uh, rev it up so we can hear them dual speak. <laughs> very hot, very, very hot. All right, guys, so we're inside of the old John H. Enterprise Imperial Package Sport Side Chevy. A mouthful, and it's very well-deserving. We have a lot going on in here. 
and it's all very, very nice, very well detailed. These guys were made famous for their the outfitting they do on a lot of vans and a lot of commercial vehicles. Um, and this stuff here in, in your everyday pickup is just super, super cool to have. Um, obviously, they're not making them anymore. So an opportunity like this to get one with, you know, just under 7,000 miles is pretty nuts. I'm going to show you those cup holders here. This is all like new. I'm going to, uh, yeah, real quick here, before we fire this up and start making noise. Very, very well preserved. You might have guessed. Original window sticker for this 94. You see 5.7 liter, fuel injected V8, four speed auto with overdrive. This is an indigo blue. And then factory, this would have had a blue custom cloth interior. Now you see we have a blue custom leather interior and it is comfier than can be. You feel like you're sitting at home on your lazy boy inside of this truck. Um, let's set that down here. This is carpet is, is all brand new. The little wear pad here for your foot has no wear on it, you know. Very well cared for, not abused. Dash pad is in perfect shape. The mirror is in perfect shape. And don't get it twisted, folks. The only thing you'll see on here, this is a little decal. And it was pretty fun, so I wanted to leave it on there. You will see we have a little handle to pull up our seat, letting us into a lovely little stowaway compartment with owner's manuals. All like new from uh, John H. Enterprises. Very good. We'll put that window sticker back down in here as well. Now we seal this up. There's a little release right here. We fold down a very, very nice console. We even got these little cork coasters in here to prevent uh, any damage from happening to wood. Kind of like grandma's coffee table. You don't set anything on it without a coaster. John H is the same way, and he's made it very simple for you. Um, what's cool too, they weren't even thinking of it in the day. Nowadays, your iPhone, this, that, and whatever, will drop right in there like a glove. Um, another nice little compartment here with a spare set of keys. All wood, brass hinge, very, very nice. Um, we'll see up top here. Let me fire this up and we'll get all the lights going and show you a couple, couple neat little details in here. As you saw, one set of keys there, another here. No pedal and nothing. It's a fuel injected truck. You see everything lights up and is very bright. No hesitation. Smooth, smooth. I'll try to block some of that light for you. Uh, very, very nice. All right. So inside of here, overhead console is very slick. Let me pop these out. No slow retracting. You store couple pairs of sunglasses, whatever. We got the lovely overhead lights here. Check these out. And I'll see if that dome light turns on when I open the door. Oh, yes it does. All right, now one really cool thing. We left one little switch out. It's gonna take us to our door cards here. Super cool. Badass, I'm probably blocking it, but this is super, super cool, guys. Um, the rear seats look like they've never been sat and those two are finished in the same comfy, comfy, good stuff we're sitting in up here. Headliner is tight, top, and very, very clean. Same goes for under our visors, still hold very firm. All very good. Now let me uh, pop open this glove compartment here see it's very new two additional cup holders will be found in there closes up nice now check this out we're gonna power on this radio hopefully we got something good on dig it dig it dig it I'll show you we'll get static but we're on FM I'll show you AM working over here go back to FM you can tune it high, tune it low, 
whatever you need. Oh. Very, very nice. Um, your gear selector on here. Also, guys, a tilt, tilt column truck. Um, if you can see that needle down there, I'll try to block out the light. It follows all the gears everywhere. On a lot of these trucks, that needle over time, we're talking high mileage units, that needle would become detached and would just stick in one spot wherever it decided to end up. And um, that was that. This one, obviously, there's no signs of it. It's tight, it's right there. Um, we'll turn on, what do I gotta do here? Don't want AC, we kind of want some heat. Let's watch those two little arrows work their way all the way over. Getting it warm and see we're on high now. Turn it back to low. You can move it all over. I love these two little aerial arrows fighting their way down. Click it all over. Everything works just as it should, guys. It's a brand new stinking ride. All right, we'll shut it down. Shuts right off. Very, very smooth. Um, lastly, folks, if you think this is the truck for you, want to know anything more about it, you want to see any more detail on this thing, I can get you clear pictures of every bit, every bit of paperwork we have with it. Please reach out and let us know. We're uh, happy to help assist in any way we can. We can also explain to you um, how simple the process could be to get this truck uh, from Michigan here right to your door. We, uh, we do it for a living and we uh, will happily do it for you. Um, also guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video for one. We do put uh, plenty of time and effort into these so we always appreciate the likes and the subscribes. Um, just makes it a little bit sweeter for us and helps get it out there. So thank you very much for all those that have. And lastly guys, a big thank you from LaFontaine Classic Cars giving me my dream job over here and also giving you a lot of your dream rides. So uh, hats off, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Let's all have a kick-ass 2021. And uh, we will see you guys soon in the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.